There's plenty of people in chat. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the show, and welcome to Vic, my special guest for tonight. <laughs> Hi, Vic. <laughs> Hi. I didn't expect to see quite so many people in chat straight away. Are we a little bit late? I think we might have been. We were just having a little natter. No, but... we're bang on half past. Are we? Oh, that's okay. I do like to be on time, Vic. So, say so one or two little quick good evenings to, to the people. I, I will never, I'm awful at chat, Vic. I never keep up, and there's 30 in chat, so I've got no chance tonight, <laughs> I don't think, at all. <laughs> but UK Vapes, the evening, UK and Chris Burns, evening, Chris. Michael Sherrington, James, Gary, I'll read a, through a few. George Power Jr., that's Georgia from the States, I believe. Um, one of my customers. Uh, Manic Stereo. Oh dear, how do you pronounce? Can you see the chat, Vic, or not? How do you pronounce the next one? Gervan. That's my what? best attempt. Nirvana. Simon Stewart. Michael Aldrick. Uh, Aldrick. Michael Simon. Beer Weasel. John Con. Everyone's got different names. Daniel. Daniel's my well, spanner. Because- because they've got names, that's why they're all different, Mark. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I don't. I don't. I, that's obvious. <laughs> I don't mean. I mean, everyone's got like two names. Like, <laughs> I mean, the, the, let's find an example. No, I can't. I can't find one. But I mean, Nutty Vapes Instagram. His name isn't Nutty Vapes Instagram, is it? <laughs> and, and sometimes you know who these people are, and you know their cross-reference names. That's what I meant. I did spam out the fact that I'm going to be on your show in the Facebook group and the Facebook page. Did Maybe you? that's why it's busy. Yeah. Did you? Well, thanks for that. <laughs> and like Just I say, to keep you on your toes. I might as well apologise for chat now. If I see something, I'll, uh, I'll highlight it. I mean, uh, By the way, according to the screen, my name is Viv. No. Oh, it yes. is. Viv. Oh, Viv. Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> Um, well, I'm not going to... Ch- I must change it. I can't leave that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Everyone knows who you are. So let's just get rid of it. There. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> Everyone knows. I do apologise, Vic. How did I don't make that mistake? Viv. Dear, dear, dear. Well, well, Viv. Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I hope that name doesn't stick for your sake. Uh, how would you like to tell us what you're vaping on tonight, Vic? I think I might be able to guess one of them. Yeah, you're probably able to guess one of them. Um, the Hot Sig R150S, putting it through its last paces before I do the review. And I've got the uh, Kylan V2 sitting on top of that. I have got the Gear RTA with the old Q-Class. That way around, Vic, with the old Q-Class. And of course... Kelpie retail version on the Asmodus uh, Asmodus Minikin 2 Kadama edition. There we go. Uh, And that's the... uh, Lovely. That's the retail one, is it, Vic? Yeah, that's the retail version. Now, is there a difference apart from the writing on the bottom um, in the... Anything with the tank? Is the... No. uh, Nope. Like the engraving, everything's the same with the Kelpie and everything else is identical, is it? Everything's the same. The only difference between the one I was vaping on for the past month is this one here has got the writing at the bottom of it. I've also got this one here, which is, see if I can see myself on camera, which is, hopefully this focuses in, so you can see the serial number on it. Oh, zero, 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 one. It's the very first retail off the batch. I'm (laughs) keeping this one in its box. I did wonder if you would do that because I've got zero 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 one of the true tank as well, mm-hmm. and and I specifically asked for it. And the you deal with Mia, I believe, don't you? Yep. But I I deal with Sarah, and I think she wanted zero 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 one, but she settled for number two. Number two, yeah. <laughs> and she she did give me the the other one, so it's nicer, isn't it? It's a, mine sits in a in a box, and it's a keepsake, isn't it? It's it's a reminder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's only, it's only fair the designer gets 0001. Well, I think so. I think so. That's only yeah. fair. 
Yeah, mine's in a box beside my bed. I mustn't tell people that I'll get broken into. <laughs> And we won't mention that, Vic. I know you've had your share of that one. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> so is that's your repertoire for tonight, is it? That's what you... Yep. Yep. That's what I'm on tonight. Okay, well, I'll go through what I'm on. And I'm on the... I apologise for the mod it's on. You might not like that. It's, I've got got my Kelpie as well. And it's, oh, it's an it's, old alien. It's on the smart... It's not. It's their new... Oh, it's that new touchscreen piece it's... of shit, ain't it? <laughs> Sorry, it is. What the <laughs> hell, Smock? Let's bring the alien back out and change the screen. It's That's all I've done. It is a touch screen. I actually, I'm going to say, I actually quite like it. And it's, uh, how do you unlock it now? Two clicks of that, I think. You're going to disagree, aren't you? They said, <laughs> <laughs> I can't turn the bloody thing on. Here it is. I've got it. Right, it's now unlocked. Lock. But the, the touch screen. Where are we? It it does work. There you go. And some of them don't, do they? So it up. works until the touch screen breaks, then you need to throw the whole mod away. Vic, you're putting me off this. But what... That's why I've never that's why I've never been a fan of touch screen mods. Even though this is touch screen, I'm still not a fan of touch screen mods. If that touch screen breaks, the whole mod's gubbed. You are right. You are right with that. Yeah. What I did like about it though is it, it it's not a in your face because you can turn it off. True. Quite quite easily. That there it is. Whoops. There it is on, and there it is off. And you know, even when you fire it, you know it's off. So I thought for smock, that was a refreshing change. It's not blinging and flashing in your face, which I not really. They just copied. The, they just copied the touch screen off the. Uh, what the one? What was the touch screen one before that? That was full screen. It was one of the prevs. You could switch that on and off as well. Right. I haven't had a smock product given to me for probably a year and a half. I would have said. There's been about three touchscreen mods from Smock over the past year. Yeah, and this is the first one they sent. So I'll have a little vape on my on my Kelpie, which we'll obviously come back to in a bit more detail. Yes, we will. And there we are. Uh, what else am I on? I'm not on a lot different, to be honest. I've mentioned the mod, um, <laughs> which Vic, Vic writes highly. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I'm on my gate RTA as well. Oh, that's a nice little setup. Look at that. That's lovely. That's the Stratum styled mod, and that's got a MOSFET in the top. 21700 Vic. Look at the size of that. Damn. 21700 battery inside there. I'm loving that. I really am. It's And it feels so nice in your hand. Your button is the slit from there. Oh, it's the bar. It's a bar yeah, then. Yeah, they've basically just, just cut down two two lines uh am i holding that right two lines down there and that is your that's your switch that so, is a nice bit of cat and very nice it is gorgeous um when you've got numb fingers and thumb or especially the thumb like i have it's it's quite nice to you've got to look around for a little button which is about the only thing i didn't like of this little latto is yeah just that, that tiny little button at the top there so I'm on that, and I'm obviously on my my, my true tank, of course, on the yep. on a little coral, mm. uh, lost weight coral, and a mod here, Vic. This is the last one. I won't talk about any more because a lot of them are people have seen before. Um, you'll probably like that. I did a little competition last week. It's the Y stick with the Yeehee Yeehee three fifty J chip in it and a little. Little cage mod, no, because you like your yeehee chips, don't you? Yeehee! Mm. Yeah, it's an <laughs> odd looking mod. It's a side by side, so the tank's recessed. It's a side by side, but it's I don't know if the shape is coming across on here. If I turn it, yeah, up. it's an odd shape, isn't yeah. it? Look at that, but That's it actually brilliant. does feel quite because your thumb fire oh, keep going off the camera, thumb fire, fire is here. So, you know, so who makes that mod? This uh, mini sig. Um, Many, oh, I remember yeah, them. Yeah. Wow. And th this was one of those purchases that I, th I think I've had too many wines on a Sunday night. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, I looked and I thought, that's a waiting list. Oh, I thought, I'm going to. I just wanted to, to try it. And this was months ago. And I haven't really ever had a tank that fits it. Because, of course, you're, 
you're governed by how how yeah, tall the tank is. Now I was hoping the true tank was going to fit in there, but it didn't at all. It was far too short. But the three and a half mil gate tank is is lovely, and look, it's just the right right height. So finally, I found a tank that works with it, and I think that will do for for what I'm vaping on. So uh, I normally ask guests uh, they've what they got coming up for review Vic but but everyone watches your whatsapp <laughs> so, so, so there's no point there's no point <laughs> you there's can't no point. you know making... next week next week the thing things are a bit quiet because next week next weekend it's the easter holidays yeah yeah so there's only going to be three reviews next week and there's going to be no what's up because i'm planning and having a long weekend off mm. uh, so i can sit back and shit myself waiting on all these reviews of the kelpie coming out yeah. <laughs> so I think our EH Pro are they sending them out on the sixteenth to reviewers as well or beforehand? I think they're sending them out beforehand. I think from what I've heard, it ships on the eleventh and twelfth, and right. then it hits retail on the sixteenth. And I know that they've already contacted they've already contacted the th the three other guys in the UK vape show. So if they've contacted Chris, Dean, and Mark already, it must mean that they've contacted the folks over in the US as well. Yeah. So I'm guessing the tank's going to be sent out. The tank's probably going to start getting sent out to the reviewers on Friday of this week and right. Monday of next week to probably reach the reviewers by the Easter weekend. Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully they do. Um, yeah. I don't see why not. I think... I was told they were being shipped on the 15th straight 16th, so I should get them on the 19th, maybe 20th, I guess. I don't mm. know what day that falls on, but it usually takes about three days. Mm. Unless UPS do something wonderful. Oh, <laughs> God, you're getting it via UPS? No, I've told them no. No UPS. UPS and if you're, so if you're watching the <laughs> EH Pro, DHL, please. DHL is a lot more <laughs> quicker, and you don't have any hassles and customs with them either. You get tremendous problems with UPS. You get uh -huh. a phone call every time. Is this under two mil? Every single time, you know. And doesn't matter what you say to them. That phone call keeps coming through. So yeah, yeah. So I mean, your your past reviews of late. You did the gate, didn't you? The gate yep. tank, and I've got to ask. Because it's because it's a program or it's a show. What did happen to the airflow, Vic? I completely <laughs> skipped over that in the table cam. I'm so, I think you got carried away with your cupboards behind you, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, did. your, and your kelpie. <laughs> I did because the, the the gate the gate the table cam for the gate was actually recorded when the shell the original shelving was being torn down. Yeah. And then the joiner was coming up. The joiner was coming up that afternoon, uh, the, the same afternoon that the same afternoon that I was recording the table cam stuff. And the table cam for the gate was recorded in between the shelves being ripped down, and in between the joiner coming up to put the table in for the new shelves to go up. So yeah, my, my head was wasted. I thought I I just knew that you know you've had you've had a lot on your mind as well with the kelpie, haven't you? And 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 I thought that's that's all it can be. It's his show. The shelves or something so it's still uh, a good tank though it's a very good tank and to be honest with you i don't the small i don't know how you found it but the small insert i don't think it's too tight for me yeah it's too tight the one that it comes with which presumably is the one you reviewed it with is the best yeah. one anyway so yeah it from that point of view i guess you know it matters not in a lot of ways but, that is a good tank mm. I'm really enjoying it, but not quite as good as a true tank. You didn't think? No, I think they're different, aren't they? They're they're a completely different tank in a lot of lot of ways. Different flavour profiles. It's all it's all to do with it's all to do with the airflow, how the air is hitting the coil when it comes to mouth to lung tank. So if you're a little bit off, which I think the gate is, the flavour doesn't come out as punchy. It's still a good tank, though. Yeah, yeah, and there's there's an awful lot. Um, I think the the Freesia uh, was another one that you reviewed and, and I re yeah, and I reviewed. Yeah. It for me, it just didn't work as a mouth to lung. It did as a direct lung, but not so much as a mouth to lung for me. Mm. Uh, so, shall we talk about this the the Kelpie and the the Kelpie? I 
I didn't know what a Kelpie was, Vic, so I decided to do a little <laughs> bit of homework and look it up. And it, it comes from, as I understand, is it Falkirk? Yeah, the, well, the, the statues, yeah. Well, the statues are there, but it's a mythical creature, isn't it? Um, mythical mythical water-borne creature that's a shapeshifter, essentially. That's right, yeah. That forms the shape of horses in the water, is that right? And, yep. And sometimes uh, nude women, I believe. To sometimes lure, nude women. To, to lure, tempt people and lure young men in. <laughs> yeah, they're basically land. They're basically inland-based mermaids. That's essentially what the kelpie is. Right. They inhabit the lochs of Scotland. Right. Okay. So, so it's not just to to Falkirk then. It is. It's a general Scot because I didn't know. I'd never. Heard it's of a gen. It. It's a general Scottish thing. You know, Kel the, the whole myth of the kelpie's been lost in the, the whole myth of the kelpie's been lost. In the southern regions of Scotland, but if you go up to the Highlands where there's lochs and all sorts of fucking still water ponds and everything, there's still people talking about it up there. But down here in the lowlands, it's kind of a lost myth that a lot of people don't know about. Right. Right. Okay. And on the the tank itself, I mean, your I think I mentioned on one of your shows actually that the it's a which what's the castle supposed to be behind it is it a specific or just general it's just a general castle it's it was right. eh pro's idea i mean they, i mentioned to eh pro and they said well they said you're in scotland aren't you and i said yes and they they automatically thought castles castle. <laughs> so, okay go with the castle then <laughs> yeah yeah okay because when you first showed it and on some of the pictures this could be just me and i'll show the pictures in a little while so <laughs> If people disagree, it looked like a bloke, you can't see my eyes, but a bloke behind a horse. Like, Shagging the horse. Yeah, like a bit of bestiality yeah. going on. And, and I, I've, But now I see the tank in the flesh. It doesn't look like that at all. It looks that's like because, a castle. That's because they changed the engraving because originally the original castle had three turrets, one in the middle, two in each side. Right. But they've changed it so there's four turrets, four two in the middle, two in each side. <laughs> So it wasn't just me. <laughs> no, it wasn't just you. A lot of people thought that. <laughs> a lot of people thought that. <clears throat> well, I haven't been looking at chat, so uh, how far? Oh my God, I am miles behind. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been looking at chat? Has I've been it, skimming over it. Has um, Has anyone asked any quote? Enjoy my call. Oh, that's nice, Rickster. Um, let's put Rickster on the screen there. Rickster was our, I did a little um, prize or competition last week. It was actually to guess what this mod was, and I had strategic pictures of it, so it was hard mm. hard to see. And Rickster was the winner, and uh, he's now uh, enjoy, enjoying his win, so that's nice. Thanks, Rickster, for, for letting me know as well. Uh, evening, Flat Cap. And Flat Cap was a guest on... On the UK Vape Show, wasn't he? Last week, yeah. Last, last week. week, and I've spoken to Flat Cap as well. Uh, Gaz, isn't it? Is it Gaz? Yep, yep. Gaz. Um, and hopefully one day he'll be coming on, on this show too, which would be nice. Um, Sarah Collins. Oh, no. You see, that there's, there's so much in chat, in chat. How, did, how do you do it, Vic? Because... <laughs> I'm awful with chat. Usually I just skim if I see something that pops out, that's when I read it out. But normally it's just chatters, talking to chatters and chat. It, it very often is. You see that yeah. a lot. Yeah, it very often is. <laughs> and if anyone's got a question, I think what can be helpful, is start the, the sentence in capitals so it, so it highlights it for me. Make an old man's life a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. Look, there's uh, <laughs> Jonathan Redmond's brought it up. Uh, oh, oh, no. He's called you Viv. <laughs> <laughs> Does the tank still have the man banging the horse on the barrel? That's <laughs> not nice, Jonathan. Come on, look. <laughs> um Oh, right, okay. Christian wants to know that without causing um, Vic offence, did you manage to find out who done the break-in in the end? Uh, as no. He hasn't... No, you haven't as yet. Nah, the police, the police, that was about, it must have been about three weeks, three and a half, four weeks ago now. Uh, one of the police investigators popped up to the office um, and, and essentially said they're putting the case 
on file, which basically means they've gave up. Yeah, yeah. There's not they've a lot, gave up. Not a lot there to go on. I, I wouldn't have thought then. Vic, I'm very sorry. There's one or two people calling you Viv. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it would stick. I figured it would. Dear oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they'd have noticed it if you hadn't pointed it out. I think they would have, I to think be honest. They would have. <laughs> because there's big green writing on a white background that I'm about to notice <laughs> Good evening, Lynn. My other spanner. I've only got two spanners because I don't get a lot of trouble on my um, my channel. I'm not. Uh, I mean, I know you like a little bit of drama now and again, don't you, Vic? But, oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drama makes the drama. Drama makes the world go round. It does it, it keeps life interesting sometimes, doesn't it? But um, very, yeah. But I, I try and steer away from it. I don't. <laughs> I'll leave that to you, boys, to, <laughs> <laughs> to do. Um. Oh well, there you go. Apparently, my Norfolk is coming to the fall tonight because Tolmac can hear my accent today for the first time. <laughs> Uh, I, I was I was born in Norfolk. Um, spent all my time. Well, it's a bit of a lie. I had a bit of a spell as a as a rep in Essex, Hertfordshire, and Cambridgeshire. But other than that, um, all my time has been in Norfolk. Mm. You've always been where you are now, Vic. You've never moved away. Never moved away. Always been in the West Coast. <laughs> TBD wants to know who the dude is on the right. He hasn't got a name. There's a good reason for that, TBD. <laughs> <laughs> I would have changed it on the screen, but I don't know how that would have panned out, so I, I just <laughs> removed it. <laughs> Eden Garrett. Um, I can't see any questions as such. Oh, hang on. What's this one? Noel. Mark, how is that mod for left hand? Ah, yeah, that's a good point. I think I'm not left-handed. You're talking about the Y stick, I assume. Um, I think you can use it left-handed. Uh, I'm not left-handed, but yeah, you should be able yeah, to use I it. I guess it's okay. Rather than your thumb wrapping round, it goes along the side like that. So yeah, I guess you can. Because I think now that I'm not sure if they do a Yeehi board for that anymore, but I think they do a DNA in it. I think. Yeah. Ew. I think they've changed it. But you prefer Yeehee, don't you, to DNA? Is that right? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather... Uh, yeah, I, I prefer Yeehee over DNA. DNA is overpriced for what it does. I never use the, the extras of it anyway. I don't know about... You're not a temperature control person either. Nah, are you? nah. Um, I'm just... I'm basically wattage. And why... If you are just a wattage vapour, why have all that at your fingertips? You don't really need it, do you? Uh, well, there's there's a hand. There's literally just a handful of people that still use temp control. It keeps them happy, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, Michael says, "Have a great long weekend. You deserve it." And to be fair, Vic, you do. You're relentless, aren't you? you just you, yeah, every single day, and that 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 does take discipline. It really does. It's, I can't think of another. UK reviewer that pumps the reviews out and is so dedicated to it. Well, there isn't are. one. There used to be. Um, there used to be, but Scott Bonner basically doesn't do reviews. I get you, 69. No. He doesn't really do reviews that much now. He's more interested in his Turnwood FX mod making company these days because he's apparently making a lot of money from it. But right. he used to pump out a lot of reviews in the early days. Uh, but he was a very um, good reviewer too. I like he was a Scott. hell of a good reviewer. Yeah. I should bloody think so. The amount of cameras that he's got, he must have spent a fortune in those cameras. He he did us some kit, didn't he? Oh, TVP's in. How you doing, Mark? Eating, Mark. Uh, Noel again. Uh, I'm going to ignore these Viv comments. I really am. <laughs> no, see, there's a general rule. Just ignore anything that says Noel at the beginning of it. That's oh, what is that right? Is that what it is? <laughs> Sorry, Noel. Yeah. <laughs> and, Tina says that the true tank has much better flavour than the than the gate. Well, Tina's my other half, so and she does. She she loves the true tank. I can't. It doesn't matter what else I put in front of her. She, no, no, I like the true tank, and that so mm. that that's fair enough. And she she's probably better at wicking it than me. Um, <laughs> she, she, she just gets on with it, you know. I don't I don't have to maintain it for her. Um. 
what's this one george uh, hi mark and vic just to let you know i'll order the kelpie tomorrow george in ireland all oh, right okay george ah you're slowly catching up with chat now am i Is am that... i catching it yeah you're oh, catching there, up with yeah, chat I can now. see mark now uh uh mike now hi mike uh yeah i'm sorry. there's not i don't think there's any any other questions topless pictures of what <laughs> yeah topless pictures of the kelpie on the box <laughs> no not gonna happen <laughs> was that even talked about vic no <laughs> <laughs> And I think everyone is hello. I'm just going to say a general hello to everyone because there there won't be time to say hello to everybody. Um, I read a few at the start. Um, and, well, I guess it's a question, so I'll put it on there. Uh, Johnny, will you be sending one of your Kelpies to Jay Hayes? I think the answer is that it's really down to EH Pro, isn't it? It's, it's up to EH Pro. I, I have little to no say. Because I basically I said to EH Pro, send it out to the reviewers that you normally deal with, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're sending it out to the because so so it means that if if Jay Hayes either sells EH Pro products in his shop or he reviews for EH Pro, he's going to get the Kelby. He's going to get it. Yeah, yeah. I think he does actually sell EH Pro stuff in his shops. So he's probably going to get them in anyway. And uh, to be fair, I don't think you'd object anyway, would you? Nah. You know, a review's a review, and, yeah. and we'll talk. We'll talk a, a bit more in depth about the the kelpie in a minute. We might even have some nice pictures for people to see for those that haven't haven't seen it yet. Um, Garrett mentioned something about a phone call. Uh, I'll just uh, not being funny, Garrett. I'll skip that one by drama. Don't. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the the rest, I think, are evenings. Uh, glad to see. Here we go. Um, coil, what's this? Coil Proby's journey into coils. Glad to see a fellow Scotsman putting out a product. I know it's going to be good. Yeah, I mean, actually, talking of Scotsman, uh, this is a bit of a by the by. I mean, you know my surname, don't you, Vic? It's Burns. Yeah. yeah yep. And obviously, that would originate, I would have thought, from Scotland. From up here, yeah. And. Years ago, well, not yeah, years ago now. I used to play pool in a pool competition, and it was a Thursday night, and usually ended up with too much to drink. But we, in, you know, you got to know who the opponents were, and one of the opponents at another pub was called Jock for obvious reasons, and he was a larger than life character. He's never ready to go and play his games. Always at the bar talking to someone, and you know we had to right. wait for him and. And I showed out one day, it's just a game advantage. Come on, you mad Scotsman, you're on. And he shouted back from the other, you, you can talk with a name like Burns. <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of had me there. I thought, oh, no. <laughs> True. True. Yeah, he had me completely. Didn't give that a lot of thought when I came out with a comment. <laughs> um. And Tolmach says he's in Essex, but he spent a lot of time in London. My, my daughter lives in Norfolk. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's probably the odd word, isn't there, that, that I'd say, like, I don't think I've said to anyone, you my old beautiful at the minute, have I? <laughs> no, I don't think you have. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, Vic. I think I've nearly caught up. I think everything else is... Uh... Oh, we've got the floof. Floof the cotton. Floof. You went in a dark shadow then, Vic. Did I? <laughs> Your vapour. Oh, right. <laughs> That'll happen a lot. Um, oh, right, okay. Well, this this might be a, a question that you'll know more than I. Brandon Clark. Uh, hey, guys, I don't know if you know, but there's a guy called Big Boy Coils who's willing to do all the orders that Bill Byrne has failed to do free. All he's asking is postage. Didn't even know, to be honest. No, I knew nothing about that, but that that's a, a nice nice offer. It's, I don't know anything about that. He's ill, isn't he, Vic? Is he ill? Uh, there's a lot more in the background to do with that. Chris Empire put a video up about three hours ago now. Yeah, about, right. about three hours ago now covering it, but there was some stuff going on in the background, put it that way. Dodgy stuff. Right, okay. 
Okay, knew nothing about any of that. Um, right, okay. Oh, Wasp Nano. Wasp, uh, you two go, yeah, the Wasp Nano. You got the Wasp Nano, have you, Vic? The, what, the RTA? Yeah. No, they never sent it. They didn't send it? No. I probably will do a review. Uh, I've been really busy lately, but I probably will do it. I think it's... We normally... I normally agree with your reviews completely, Vic, but I didn't agree with your... What's it called? The Bomber? Bom Bombus? Oh, the Bombus. The yeah. Umie Bombus. I didn't really like it. <laughs> but you, you really... Probably did, you, you probably didn't coil it right, Mark. Oh, well. yes. <laughs> it, it functioned perfectly well. I just thought it was an ugly little brute. Um, I think it's a gold tank. And maybe them sending it in gold didn't help. But Okay, that wouldn't help because gold tanks don't really match up with anything. Yeah, it, unless it you've just, got a gold mod. Yeah, which I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Marker. Mark, well, when will you get the Kelpie in and send it out? I'm expecting the Kelpie to arrive with me on the 20th of this month. And obviously it will get sent out. And... There'll probably be some... Vic has had a, a... You've done a little special for your patrons, haven't you? Yeah, um, kind of pre-order thing, yeah. Pre-order with my help, and pre-orders will probably go up in a few days, you know, for, for the general people. But Vic wanted his patrons to get first dibs because they support him. He wanted yeah. to support them. So I hope that answers that question. Right, well... I'm, I'm sure if people haven't seen the Kelpie, I've just noticed a thumbs down come down my screen. Then I'm not it. Bothered? <laughs> um, it just took my eyes. It came floating down my screen. <laughs> so I have got some pictures here. So we're going to start. Um, there's a, a general picture of your. In this, Vic, you'll see on your screen in a minute, you'll catch up. Um, you are still in view. I'm not. All you can see is my my middle, but the pictures ah, right. are coming okay. up. This will be the presentation box for the Kelpie. And there you go. There's, there's the other one. <laughs> and the next picture... Have I got these in order? Yeah, there's the there's the it's like a banner picture they do, and it on the picture. I'm sorry, Vic. It still looks like a like a ghostly man behind that horse, but on the tank itself, it really doesn't. It looks lovely mm. on the tank, but on the picture, it does look different. Yeah, it's because it's this because of the way they've taken because <laughs> that's not actually the tank they're taking a photograph of. That's a three D render. If you look at it, that's not really the tank. That's a 3D yeah. render of the tank. I don't know if this will show on the screen. Probably not with my e-liquid in. But the on the tank itself, it's lovely. No, you're not in focus either. I could try and zoom this camera in. Have I got it? No, I haven't. Yeah, that shows it nicely, Vic. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And um, oh, the pad look real good. Yeah, people are saying it looks nice. Uh, will there be a bubble glass for it? There, Vic. Would you like to answer that? <laughs> there's the retail package, and there's the bubble glass inside. That was a discussion point, wasn't it? Yes, that was. <laughs> it definitely was. <laughs> My philosophy on that is that, and we did have a little chat at the time, until you the customer have wound a coil put a coil in that tank it's not a tank i understand with sub ohms but mm. with with rebuildables bubble tank i don't i don't see a problem with that at all until yeah it's... with the rebuildable the tank is not ready to vape because there's no coil and no wick you put e-liquid in this it'll just leak everywhere yeah yeah and you try and fire it nothing will happen because there's no coil in it so it's not really ready to vape yeah why don't they put your logo on the box well that's that's a good question actually let's put that up by whoops he's moved ronnie um <laughs> as i went to press the button he skipped up in chat slow down chat this is norfolk we do things slowly <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Um, why don't they put your logo on the box? I mean, I they can asked, answer that, but shall I let you? <laughs> they asked me if I wanted the logo, but they did say if the logo was going to... Because look at the size of the box. It's not a big box if you look at it, and if they were going to logo this box, they would need to remove a big chunk of this window to put the logo somewhere around there. And they said it would be easier to just have Vaping with Vic and text. And I went, okay, go with that then. Yeah, I mean, the other answer, as far as I'm concerned, is that they did it with me, with the True Tank. EH Pro is quite clever. They save money on packaging because they have yeah. a generic box for everything, and then they'll stick a sticker, a sticker on, on it. Kelpie, True yeah, Tank. There go. Yeah, it's the sticker there. Whatever it is. And I think that's a really good idea because it saves them money. Who cares about the box anyway, Vic? You know, it's exactly. What, it's what's inside it you want to you want to use, and you know that's that's something else that they do, which I have no problem with at all. Apart from when they're in stock, they all <laughs> have to look carefully to see which product is which because they all mm. look quite similar. And Mike, so what does it taste like? Why are you asking me, Mike, what it tastes like? I was thinking. <laughs> 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 well i'm gonna say that and i saw uh your whatsapp on sunday and you said it's like nip up bum time didn't you or squeaky bum time yeah time squeaky bum time that'll be next week well Vic, i think you know different to that because you've tried it and it certainly isn't is it i mean it's it's a damn good tank. that's a good i've got to admit that the flavor it's all about the flavor with me when it comes to tanks i'm not really all about the cloud chuck but yeah. the flavour from that tank is fucking good. It is good. It yeah. is good. It's not the airiest tank in the world, but I don't no, like not. a really airy tank. But it, it really is. It's a it's a flavour flavour beast. That's for sure. So I mean, I, I, what sort of coil have you got in yours, Vic? I've got to read this smock screen now. Where do I turn? Um, it on? I have got a point two alien in mine. Point two. I've got a point three two four core canthal wire in here mm. um and i'm at 42 watts but i did try this at, at 50 uh, and it took it put and yeah. wicked how do i undo i'm gonna get rid of this mod though. what did i say about it earlier did i say it was good yeah you did <laughs> <laughs> right it's unlocked so pumping that up to 50 watts which you can at least see with this screen i think um takes that perfectly well and you know i mean that's higher than i would normally vape a coil at 0.32 um I'm, I'm more comfortable on about 40 watts with that but yeah it as far as i'm concerned it's it's a great flavor for a tank what is our next picture what did i put the color right now the bit everyone's interested in shall we go for the deck on you go on goes the deck so is that a 3D is that a 3D render it's a of the 3D deck? Is it going to be the, one. It's, oh, it's the one. Saying, probably, Let's mm -hmm. see what the picture looks like. I'll wait for you to catch up with the picture and, and perhaps you, you want to explain the deck, Vic. Is it there yet? Yeah, see the 3D renders don't show it all that well. Hold on. There's a better way to do this. Let's get zero number zero zero one out. Ooh. Because the 3D render's not really showing it all that well. If I hold this Oh, that's up, a good shot. Yeah, that's fine. Right there. See, the big difference between the Kelpie, especially with airflows like this, when it comes to this style of airflow, the honeycomb style that I've got the holes punched all the way through, normally what you tend to find is the bottom row of air holes, which is right there. See it? The bottom row on the Kelpie is purposefully smaller than the holes going up round the side. And the whole idea was, instead of having the air hitting the coil, uh, having the air hitting the coil 
equally around the bottom and the side of the coil. What I wanted to do was direct some of the pressure away from the underside of the coil and force it up at an angle to hit the coil at an angle and just have enough air hitting the base of the coil to stop the coil overheating. It's all about shifting the airflow up. That's what it's all about. And if you look at the deck... The deck itself has got an extremely... You're not quite focused, yeah. That's it, you're there. The deck itself is extremely deep down, so you've got a very deep area in there. This Well, this thing will fit a massive coil in it. Yeah, yeah, it will. If you want to put a staple stagger fuse Clapton in here, it'll fit. It'll mm. simply fit. And it's also a split design, so if you look at the way this deck's been laid out, you've got the split going down there instead of the split going across. So this side's positive and this side's negative, which means if you've got coils that have the legs sticking out like that, you can still mount the coil. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to unwrap or rewrap half a ton to have one leg like that and one leg like that, which a lot of other tanks force you to do. Mm. Yeah. With this, you can mount the coil straight in. Yeah. So, that's that's answer. I think I think it's a, a a great. It's you've you've taken some of the ideas from other places, but I think I haven't seen a deck quite the same as this, Vic. And I think you know, innovation with airflow was probably where things were going. And you've I think you've done that with this tank. I really do. I don't think there's anything completely the same. There's a question from David Salford Vapor. Uh, question for Vic. What made you design a sub ohm tank, and do you have plans for a mouth to lung tank? I can answer oh. that. He, he's a greedy bugger, and he was going to sell more direct lung tank. <laughs> yeah, there is that, to be honest. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, the, the general, you do generally tend to sell more direct lung tanks than mouth to lung tanks these days. There is an option in the future for a Kelpie mouth to lung tank, but the problem was. When I was originally talking to EH Pro, EH Pro was already in the process of releasing his mouth to lung tank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I had to go, okay, forget the EH Pro mouth to lung tank with vaping with Vic. Try this, the Kelpie. So that's why I went direct lung first, because you were already releasing the true tank at the time. <laughs> I do apologise, Vic, but, but not very much. So let me just pretend to pick something up while I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> But weren't you also going to, uh, there was talk of you bringing out a stock coil mouth to lung, wasn't there? That's been, that's on the back shelf right now. I think e right. EH, Pro are, EH Pro are putting a lot of things in the back shelf right now because they're, they're going to a, an expo event next week in China. They're going, they're going to have some representatives at Vape Jam. They're also going to have a big stand over at the Vapor Expo in May. And yeah. then they've got two other expos coming up over in the United States. So they've put a lot of stuff on the back burner right now. But there is an EU and UK specific stock coil tank in the works. Right which means it's only going to be sold in the EU and the UK because it's only going to be 2 mil capacity. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. means that shops can legally have it on their store shelves. I mean, a 2 mil tank capacity for stock coil sub ohm tanks is going to be absolutely no interest outside of the EU and UK. No, no. No won't. interest at all. No, it won't. But EH Pro, EH Pro decided to target the UK and EU market because of the TPD and TRPR. Yeah. Uh, UK Vapester, is it a single or is it possible to duel? Will you? I don't. You know, you wouldn't duel it. I don't. You could, you, if you if you duel it, they're going to have to be very small diameter coils, very small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the next one, the filling, the filling. I I love the filling. I I, I think the filling is is is. I can't show it because I've got a picture. <laughs> It's as easy as that. It really is as easy. And as then, boop. Yeah, yeah. I th I think the the true tank V two may. Have... <laughs> well, the idea was kind of lifted from your tank, to be honest. <laughs> 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 and it was EH Pro that actually suggested it. Was it? 
they suggested it going going with the slide top instead of the screw top because I was going to go for a bayonet fit right for the top yeah. and they went have you have you thought about the slide top and I went uh, okay I, I think it's tremendous I mean it's and it's it not the sort it makes it a, a lot easier to fill it does especially when it's a small tank you don't want to be you know I, I know you shouldn't but you know, if you're in the car, or I'm not saying you're driving here, folks. You can be a passenger, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> you know how how easy is that? Just just push it away, dump your juice in, and and slide it back. And I, I haven't yet knocked that while it's been you know when I haven't wanted to. It you you would have to I think want to fill the tank to to knock that out of the way, wouldn't yeah. you? It's a very tight. Well, it's not very tight. You, can, you get, it's easy enough to slide, but it's a it's a tight fit they've got in there with the silicone seal that's sliding along the top of the tank. You're not going to knock this by accident, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And if you, if you don't press, sort of press, because it's got written on it, Kelpie, where you press, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, just to help everybody. So that was the filling. Now for the wicking. Um, again, you'll catch up in a minute. You won't be able to show this one because you'll have to use the picture. It's got a red line. I don't know if you've seen this picture with cut here. Uh, it'll be coming up on your screen very shortly. Yeah, no one EH Pro, they probably got the picture wrong. That wasn't nice. Victor. Yeah, they got the picture wrong. Have they? That's not the way I work it. It's nowhere near the way I work it. <laughs> I must admit, I had more wick in there than that. I've got less wick. Have you? I've got less work. Hold on. Can I do this without you spilling You just filled any? that up, haven't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. That is disgusting. Okay, I should really change the fucking ale. Look at that. Oh, my word. <laughs> what have you had in there? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's uh, Rochford Project's Black Vine. I just changed this wick this morning. Did you really? There's a, there's a fair bit of sweetener in the black vine though, but that's that's the way I work it. It's just two little tufts of cotton on either side. So just turn that sideways, Kenny Vic. My word, yeah, you really haven't got much. Well, to be to be fair, their pitch is not so far away from that. But I mean, that's why they said that's what because when Mia asked me, yeah, it was actually <laughs> it was I shouldn't really say it, but fuck it, I'm going to anyway. Mia said they were getting lots of dry hits from the tank. And right. I went, no, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. And I'll show you how well this wicking works on this tank, right? So this coil, this coil, it's not 0.2, it's actually 0.26. There we go. This coil's come out at 0.26, right? Right. Okay. And I've got this currently, run, currently running at 55 watts. I yep. can do this. I can do this with this tank. Single coil, remember. At basically point three, what I can do, and I don't normally do this in tanks, especially single coilers, but this is how much I trust the wicking on this. I can do this with it. 85, okay. 85 watts. I'm basically punching almost 5 volts straight into the little alien, which needs cleaned along with the cotton, needs re-wicking. <laughs> and I can do this with it. Airflow control fully open, and we're off as the review goes. <laughs> Well, there's no overrun there at all, Vic. And I can keep doing that until the tank runs dry. That yeah. was a hot vape, though. <laughs> you, you, get the right on this. <laughs> you get the wicking right on this. get the wicking right on this, it'll just keep going. Yeah, the first time I wicked it, and I, I've learned something tonight as well, and obviously even less than I've got. Uh, I've got about probably a touch more than on the picture. Mm. But I got... Not a dry hit, but I got a little overrun afterwards, and that always yeah. just says to me, you know, too wick, too much wick, and and I went less, and and it's fine, uh, you know, even at this at uh, forty watts, I'm not getting any overrun at all. <laughs> but it was like Mia showed me a picture of how they were wicking it, and it was like they had half a fucking field of cotton in there for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's like you don't need that much. It's an enclosed, the enclosed top dam method. All you need to do, there's a super way to wick this, right? In fact, I'll show you. I'll show you in the. I'll show you in zero zero one and uh, <laughs> TVP right there. Jesus, you dirty bastard! 
That's because he looked at the cotton in the tank, right? <laughs> right Here's the way. Okay. Just imagine this. Just imagine this has got a coil in it, right? Imagine yeah. this has got a coil in it. All you do is you snip the cotton so it's level with there, right? Level with there because that's the top of the well. Yeah. And the way that this works, and I had three points in my head when I was designing this tank. Number one, it has to be super easy for a new person to rebuildable tanks to coil so that's why it's a split deck which means if, if if the vapor buys a coil from someone like chris grimes that have got the legs like this yeah. they can still mount the coil in without having to twist the coil leg around number two it has to be easy to work and all you do and i shouldn't really say this because apparently according to according to mark the uk vape show wants all of us like once Chris, Dean, and Mark have this tank in, we're going to have a wicking off Ooh. contest to see who can wick the tank quicker. I don't remember Mark tri- can't wick. I'm going to get some flack just, now. Just but here's the trick that you do: you cut the wick so it's level with the edge of this lip, right? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. You then get your e-liquid and you completely drown the wick up. Just drown it. Yeah. And then. You screw the top of the tank straight on, and what the chimney's going to do is push the wick down. Yeah, I did and notice that the with entire dam. Yeah, you don't even you don't even need to bother with the hassle of fluffing the wick up and dropping the wick down. You let the top of the tank do it for you. Yeah, yeah, I noticed That's that with I'm mine, and it does. It just nestles that cotton in yeah. there, doesn't it? Yeah, I did notice that. The chamber does it all by itself, so it's easy to coil and it's yeah. easy to wick. Okay, fantastic. And I think that that's about it. I've, the last one is just a, a picture of the, the two tanks, just two colour examples. Not the most flattering of pictures, I think. I mean, in real life, it looks a lot lot, lot nicer than that. So you'll see the picture in a minute, and then I'll get rid of it. In fact, I can get rid of it now, because it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, because I'm lagging behind by about 15 yeah. seconds, by the looks of it. Yeah, that'll, that'll be uh, my old Skype. <laughs> no, it's YouTube. It always that'll happens. be YouTube. <laughs> Evening, Mr. Blue. Oh, yeah, that's a 3D render. Why do they insist on doing 3D renders? They they always do. Yeah, they always, always do. They never take an actual picture of the tank. And it's not just DH, but there's a lot of companies that do there's that. They don't take do. an actual picture of the tank. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them do it. Uh, Mr. Blue, he got the Zeus X at the weekend, and he's in love. Good uh, tank, the Zeus X. The Zeus X is super. I haven't actually got mine now. I had it, but I will be opening another box and getting another one because I, I think they're really good. My my niece nabbed mine. She oh. <laughs> so I'm that. The other thing I would say, uh, I mean, you hear all the time that bottom airflow, you'll always get a leak or haze. I mean, I've been using this. All there you go, Vic. I don't know if you can see it. It's, the only thing on there is dust. There's yep. no, and underneath that tank there is absolutely bone dry. Which is the same as mine. If I pop the top, if I pop that this fell off, just dust on there. That's all it was. I mean, look at that. And, and I, I was, I was hitting this thing at eighty-five watts not that long ago. Look yeah. at that. And that, that is really unusual for a bottom airflow. And that's the one thing I also noticed with the tank that you there is zero moisture underneath. It doesn't dribble. <laughs> well, no, some some of them don't dribble either. But there there seems to be this haze underneath of a lot of them, isn't there? Even if yeah, it... it's the it's the conduit because when you take a pull after you've let go of the button, the coil still fires for about one or two seconds because of the heat remaining, yeah. and that's still forming vapor inside the chamber and mm. here. And what happens is because you're not pulling in the tank, that vapor is just dropping straight down into the airflow, and that's why you're getting the haze. Yeah, but there's there's none of this at all. Absolutely none. Yeah. Which will please a lot of people because I think, you know, a leaking tank, even if you love the taste, you, you aren't going to put up with that, are you? It's yeah, like, leaking tanks are a f- they're annoying. I think we've they're got, annoying. You know, how far we've progressed in this industry, I think we've got a bit beyond leaky tanks now. Here we go. That was the first one, was it? There's Pro- the first one. Prototype. That's the original prototype. Yeah. And that's the retail right there. Yeah. And there's a reason that the tank got smaller. Gear. <laughs> this bastard. <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason it got smaller. Because cause I know for a fact, I know for a fact 
the kelp is going to compete. The kelp is going to be compared against this. It will be. It's, it's for a fact. Be, it will be. It? Yeah, and I mean, I've got both. I've got the. I've got the gear on here. Yeah. Um, I. It, to me, I mean, I know which one I think is best, hundred percent. But I. I thought the gear was good, but I didn't think it was a, a, as outstanding as people said it was. And I, I can't remember if I did a review or not. I can't just can't remember now. But I know that was my the thoughts in my head. Put it that way. The gears are fast. That's why I'm still using mine. The gears are fantastic, little tank. You're it just is. filling the thing every three minutes. It yeah, you do. Um, you know, I'm not saying it's, it's no good because it is. It is a good tank. You can't mm. get away from that. But you know, I. I I think it was over raised, put it that way. That's there I mean. was a bit of hype around it, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Paul Hancock, what diameter is the Kelpie? It's 25 millimetres. 25. And it's, I've measured this, it's 30 millimetres without the 510 or the drip tip, I think, Vic, going by memory. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sharp time. Well, hold on. It's a comparison against the gear because the gear is still the smallest single coil tank on the market. If we put it up against the gear. Hold on. Pop you off. There we go. Base to base against the gear RTA. Yeah, God, that gear is short, isn't it? It's a <laughs> tiny tank, the gear. <laughs> tiny little tank. Yeah, yeah, it is tiny. Yeah, You don't realise. Because I know. <laughs> I've been, I'm using yours and thinking that's a tiny little tank. But and then, then you see this. Then you put it to the gear, uh, and it's really small. Yeah. Uh, someone else answered as well. Twenty-five mil. Um, I like the Wasp Nano RTA better than the gear. Yeah. I don't have the Wasp Nano. I I actually agree um, with Michael completely. I prefer the Wasp Nano to that as well. I don't think the... I'm amazed they didn't send you one, Vic. Absolutely amazed. Umi, the, the thing, it's... it's the, the, the odd thing about Umi, I've got one of Umi's latest. It's the Umi... What the fuck's the name of it? Armadillo. Right. The Armadillo RDA by Crazy Dampfer. But they never sent the Wasp Nano out, and that was weird. I well, thought I they would have. get the Armadillo. So the... <laughs> there we go. Yep, there, there we go. We go. But, yeah, that that's a good good tank the only thing i would say about that tank i don't think it's going to last very long the wasp nano because it's got the plastic threads yeah and I, I still don't know why companies insist on doing plastic threading mm. i still don't know why they do that jonathan redmond with the bubble glass it's 3.5 mil without the bubble glass two mil uh Craig, uh, let's put that one up on the screen. Craig, can't wait to get my hands on one of those Kelpies. Got to wait until the US retailer gets it shipped across the pond. Just cost too much. Yeah, we we do send quite a bit to the USA actually. Um, but it is yeah, it's ten quid basically. And yeah, when you look at a tank, thirty quid and twenty five percent of that will will be shipping. You know, we're shipping. It is you know it's quite. I understand that it's quite a lot of money, but. Yeah, it's amazing how much we do send there, though. You'd think they'd you have just the same stuff as us, but clearly they I don't. Know. But if you want to wait, if you want to wait on, there's a lot of retailers over in the United States that, like Nature Vape, here deals with EH Pro directly. Vapor DNA and Element Vape is the two sites to wait on if you're in the United States. Uh, yeah. I don't know when they're going to put the listings up, though. I really don't have a clue. And I thought I'd put in this comment up there because he said it's better than the bombers <laughs> two against one now Vic you, you're outnumbered <laughs> <laughs> I think Mike had problems wicking it at the start didn't he he had a, he had a right time with it um, well there's none I'm not even going to read it first I'm going to put it up so we could get a nasty shot here. Victor can I ask an unrelated vape question, please? I've followed you for the last few years and seen that the, the plant in your bedroom grow year on year. What's the palm? Tell yeah, me Yeah, Mr. Secrets. Blue, I recognise, I recognise that name. Mr. Blue used to follow me a lot over in the live shows. Yeah. He's talking about that fella sitting over there in the corner. It gets bugger all sunlight because it's sitting, there's the window there and it's all the way at the Looking far at end. The bottom of it, Vic, it gets bugger all water as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's 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 the, the, I just watered the thing a week ago. Here's the trick. Here's the trick with plants like that in low sunlight. Feed them extra. That works. Feed them extra. Feed them extra. If they don't, if they're not getting enough sunlight, feed them a bit extra. And uh, yeah, I genuinely didn't read that question first. I really ought to. We could have got a nasty <laughs> shot back. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, and I think that I've reasonably caught. I would ask them to send you eat my eat my BB. Um, and good evening, Mark. Maybe did me ask them to send you the armadillo? Oh right, that means that's why it's sent to me then. Yeah, right. That means more to you than me. I take it. Yeah, dummies, dummies, the dummies, dummy design the armadillo. Right. Oh, dummy of course. Crazy, dummy crazy damper. Yes, of course. Yeah. I know now. Yeah, yeah, of course. I've caught up with the program. See, I told you it's slow that. in Norfolk, but we get there in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Just admit it, it's your age. <laughs> well, well, that's part of it. Yeah, that is part of it. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're. we're covered the the kelpie is anyone else got any other questions in chat while we've got victor on the show what is the time oh we're not too bad tonight usually they, 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 i look at and the, here's the and thing I, they, they all got to see the interesting bits of the tank basically three days before the introduction video goes up yeah i haven't even got the intro the, the introduction video has not even been recorded yet i'm recording it tomorrow and finishing it on thursday and it's going to be uploaded on Friday morning. Friday morning, because you did say that you wanted to get it up straight away, didn't you? And EH Pro said no. That's and I went, it. okay. That's, that's because very... apparent, apparently they want the thing up when it ships. So the 12th is the 12th, is, uh, the, the, the 12th, spit it out, Vic, is the ship date, which means they're probably sending it from the warehouse to the shipping company. And then the week after that, is when it starts to get shipped out on the wholesalers. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's quite strange, isn't it? I I thought uh, people now have you've been talking about the kelpie for so long, and it's finally got here. And, and Six I think months I've been talking about. It. But yeah, pe <laughs> people are now well, and that happens. It happened to Mark with his FP. It happened yeah. to me with the True Tank, uh, and I kept the True Tank quiet for a long time, you know, mm -hmm. because I thought I'm not going to mention it yet because it, you know, it's going to, you know, just going to seem to drag on for months. But it, but it does take time, doesn't it, Vic? It does take time. It does. It take it takes a lot of time. Um, from the original design plans were first sent to Case that makes the Landmark tank and other tanks, and they said yeah. it would be it would be too difficult to do that airflow. And I'm like, seriously? Yeah. All you need to do is get a smaller drill bit to drill the holes at the base. And then I took the tank to EH Pro and said, sure, we can do that. Yeah. And I was like, good, because Case said they can't. It's too difficult. I said, no, that's not difficult. Just a smaller drill piece. And it's like, yeah. okay, there we go. But the ideas, the, the original plans, the, the plans in my head, at least, for the Kelpie popped up. Actually, it popped up after the May Expo last year. And it was an idea that was milling around in my head for a while. And... Um, after Case dropped the idea, it was it was passed over to EH Pro, and now we are about five and a half months down the line, and that's the yeah. tank being released. Yeah, and that, I think that is about standard. You know, yeah. anywhere between that four is. and six months, really, isn't it? Because um, I know that uh, Vaping Fagan's got his bulk RTA coming out. I can't remember who's making that one. I think it's Hellvate, but Fagan's got his bulk RTA coming out, and he first started the plans for that round about autumn of last year so yeah about six months yeah right yeah and so with the plan i mean your drawing i think vic is probably very similar to mine which isn't very good I don't it's get... bad it's like it's like you gave a monkey a set of crayons <laughs> <laughs> that's how bad my droppings are <laughs> what, what would we do without sharpie and big big bits of paper <laughs> but um did the tank come out did, you had your vision in your head was that your vision or 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 did it did it change slightly the first prototype i got which i showed you on cam yeah the only thing eh pro got wrong was they made the wicking port too small right and i was getting a lot of dry hits from it even with the wicking style that i do and the only change i suggested before the gear came out 
<clears throat> the only change I suggested with the original with the original prototype was make the wicking hole two times bigger. Right. And each pro went, yes, we thought that as well. And then this tank came out, and all of a sudden it became, for fuck's sake, make the tank shorter, get more flavour out of it. Yeah. But yeah. the deck itself, the actual deck, hasn't changed from the original prototype. It's the same one. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it was more more the point you had, like I did. You know, you had a, a vision in your head of what you wanted the Kelpie to be, and yeah, I I, I found EH Pro fantastic to work a, for, work with. Brilliant, think, yeah, they are. They're a brilliant company to work with. <clears throat> they really are. Very professional, very helpful, and nothing's too much trouble. Yeah, uh, is what I found with them. Um, Lynn Smith, how's your e liquid going, Mark? Yeah, I don't know if you've heard about this, Vic. It's um, I'm going to do concentrates. Um, oh, you're doing concentrates? Yeah, I am made in conjunction with Jack Rabbit Vapes, which I also forgot to mention. We are giving a 10 mil, 3 mil, 3 mil, milligram, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if, uh, this camera doesn't focus very well. It's the Mandarin Cheesecake, which I sent you some. And I have, graphic. yes, I have tried it. It's a little bit on the sweet side for my taste, but it's a damn good liquid. Yeah. I liked it. It is sweet, but uh, and that's it. what I've got in, in mind tonight in, in the Kelpie. It is sweet. I finished mine. It's all gone. It's all gone. I sent you three <laughs> bottles. Do you know how much liquid I go through in a day? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I had a vision of you on your review, but that isn't going to happen then, Vic. <laughs> no. I go through anywhere. I go through anywhere between... Depends what kind of mood I'm in up at the office, mind you. If it's a boring day at the studio, I'm not recording anything. Yeah. I can plough through about 90 mile of juice up there. <laughs> Easy. I know you go through a lot, far more than me. I Easy. mean, I, I mouthed along most of the day. So the... Um, I don't know how clear that will come out as well. This is this is going to be sent out with the... Can you read it or not? Is yeah, it can be done. Yep. So basically, it's going to give you the... Whether you want 50-50, 60-40, or 70-30, what strength you want, and what you need of... what con How much concentrate, how much PG, how much VG. And there are four flavours. Um, a blackjack, a rhubarb custard, a strawberry custard, and... Was that an ooh, as in that could be nice, or an ooh, as depends, in... It depends how... It depends what type of rhubarb flavour <laughs> it is. It can be really nice yeah, or not so nice. Right, well, I like if it. it if, if it's we'll a see. fresh... If it's if it's a fresh, tangy rhubarb flavour, that'll go well with the custard. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it pretty much is. Um, that's Good. how I would describe it. And a fruits one ready for the summer of papaya mango and peach um and <laughs> funny combination I actually, but i actually just released a i actually just released a recipe in eliquidrecipes.com papaya mango and peach i call it the duchess anymore. this show's <laughs> over <laughs> and that's what the duchess has papaya mango and peach <laughs> and it's in here but to answer lynn's question um I expected them to arrive today, and they didn't. So we are literally any day for next mm. week. Um, we'll we'll have them, and and I'll be sending reviewers like like Vic uh, some some samples out. I hope you mix them up, Vic, and and have a have a bit of fun with them. And oh, if I like it, I'll do a review. I yeah. don't generally do juice reviews, but if it's something I like, I'll do a review on it. Excellent stuff. So hopefully that's answered that. And I saw a question here. What's the best mouth to lung regardless of price? Where did I see that? Regardless of price? I think that's what I saw. And I can't see that question anymore. Uh, where is it? Ah, here it is. Jason, oh, Joe Mason. Bosh. Mark, Vic, in your opinion, what is the best mouth to lung RTA for flavour regardless of cost? I would still see the true tank. Well, that's not. I mean, but you, 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 you. Thing is, you remove the truth. You remove cost, and you immediately think K fun. But K funs lost their sparkle after the K fun four to me. To be honest, another one I quite enjoyed was the Spicker. Have you tried the Spicker Pro? The Spicker. 
Um, where I think are they I from? Have. Turkey, I think. Uh, no, nah, I don't have tried that one. You had the Penadat, didn't you? Yeah, the um, Penadat. That was a nice tank, but it's the height of the tank. It's yeah, losing the about a flavour, but it's a top tank. Well. The spick is quite high as well. I still see the true tank. That's why the true tank got best mouth to lung of 2018. And I had some of the newer K funds up at the beginning of 2018, but I still rate the true tank above it. Yeah. Well, because you've got you've got to look you've got to look at ROI, as I said in one of the WhatsApps, return of investment. You're paying money for an item. You want some investment back from that tank or dripper or mod. Whether it be the longevity of the mod, how hard the mod can hit, whether it be the ease of coil, ease of use, ease of wicking, and more importantly when it comes to mouth to lung, how well that mouth to lung tank can bring out flavour. You're investing in that tank. And I don't think K funds are worth it now. I honestly don't. They used to be, but I, I don't think they're there. I don't I think they a are. A lot there. of trouble with the well, a lot of trouble. Um, issues with the light as up there. K fund yeah. two thousand and nineteen, um, and it it was good. And I think that the heading on my video was was good, but not perfect. You know, mm. and there was was issues for me with it. Um, what else? Were, oh. Here we go. There's one from Chester for, for you that this is aimed at, or guys actually, so me as well, but I think it's more for you. Will you be getting the uh, DJV D7 box mod in the one with the Asmodus touchscreen and Vic will you be real? I haven't even heard of it. Probably not because uh, the, the DJ, whatever, the, that company... I reviewed his I reviewed his RDT at the beginning of 2018. He said thanks, and then he hasn't contacted him. And it wasn't as if I gave it a bad review. It was one of the best RDTs at the time. A bit pricey, mind you, but it was a good RDTA. But I haven't heard anything back from him since. So unless unless a vendor sends that D7 out, I'm probably not going to review it, to be honest. And Robert Laws... Uh, wouldn't you do a how to do it video for the reviewers some people don't slate it just because they put too much wick in it yeah i guess what robert's saying is i mean that's going to be the purpose of your first video isn't it isn't it vic not yeah, so much a one, review yeah. more of a, a bit like my videos really you've bought it this is how you use it and more like it's an intro, yeah it's an introduction video the, yeah. the intro the, in, the intro video is going up on friday morning it's going to follow the same format of a review so it's me at the beginning babble 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 do, 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 the little intro and then it's table cam here's how you coil it here's how i wick it follow my wicking because you'll get the better flavor out of it and the difference is when it's back up to me i'm not going to review it because yeah. it's it's silly reviewing your own tank. Of course, you're going to be biased. I'm just going to give. I'm just going to say that was the intro of the true, mm. uh, not the true tank. That's yours. That was the intro of the Kelpie, <laughs> and leave it there. And basically, if you want to watch a review, I hypnotise you, folks. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Vaping Postman's getting the tank in for review. Chris Empire's getting the tank in for review. Uh, Dino's getting it. And there's a bunch of US reviewers that are getting their hands in the tank as well because they all deal with the H Pro as well. So you're looking at Mike Vapes, Fagan, uh, Mike Vapes, Fagan. Who else is there? Um, I think Heavy Metal and ST. Brian doesn't really review any more TVC. He's probably going to get the tank as well. But yeah, there's there's going to be a lot of US reviewers getting their hands on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope so. And. I would guess that. I mean, you know Mike very well. I would guess he'll yeah. be he'll be doing that for you, won't he? Well, I, I mean, they they all deal with the H Pro, so it's going to be sent to them anyway. Yeah, I did send Mike my because he buys coilies from us, and I sent him a, a true tank, but he never did review it. Mike, sometimes you mention Mike, and he turns I don't, up. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Mike Vapes is that into mouth to yeah, lung. Don't, he's to be not, honest. you know, he's not. Yeah. And I get that. I thought, you know, maybe will, maybe won't, but. Not to worry. He might have mentioned it in one of his other videos, and I missed it. I don't know. He did, did he? I think he did. I think I think he mentioned the tank in a couple of live shows. Did he? Not yeah, in the show. Yeah. I might well have missed that. So, uh, um, Iggy, hi Mark. Any more details on volume and price of your short fills? Uh, well, they concentrates, um, Iggy. I think probably next week I'll go into more detail because I'll have them. They'll hopefully be on the website by then. Um, but they won't be, you know, they, you're not talking silly money. They'll be 
well affordable. Uh, <laughs> I'll put that on there. Ian Morgan. Mark, but you didn't think Vic would curse more than TVP. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly got got Mark through the whole show without swearing. Nearly, and nearly, nearly got Mike through it as well. But I didn't even bother with you. There's, 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 there's no way you can get me not to swear, <laughs> unless it's a review. And even then, I still swear in the reviews. Yeah. Sometimes I shouldn't really, yeah. but I still do it in the reviews sometimes as well. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for that, guys. Quite a funny comment, Ian. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, well, Manic Stereo about to order the Kelpie Black or Stainless Steel. I mean, that's it's your choice. I did get the... Um, I didn't have it at the time. What have I done with it? Got, I've got so much rubbish sitting on this table. <laughs> <laughs> is yours like that, Vic? I bet yours is yep. tidy, isn't it? No, my, review, my, my desk is an absolute well, bomb site right now. The... It's not your tank. It's the the gate, but they they're doing a black uh, with an Ultim tank yeah, now. It don't, probably doesn't look that nice on there, but the black with the it's like a satin black with the glass. I think looks really nice. The Ultim mm. is that's me. I've put that in there. That's a separate. It comes standard with the glass, but I guess it. And I, the only reason I got that is I thought it would fit in this thing nicer with the with the black black on black, and. With colour, that's what it's all about, Navik. If you like matchy matching, you've got yeah. a black mod to have a black tank. If you've got, you know, more stainless steel and you like more sort of traditional, yeah, have stainless steel. I do notice certain tanks sell, like mouth to lung, normally sells better in stainless steel, and direct lung very often sells better in gunmetal grey and black. Black, yeah, yeah, and very true. Gunmetal grey now is is out doing most a lot of other colours. I did I did mention that to them. I hope they were gonna do the Kelpie and they may do, I think. I think I don't know if they I may do, I think by the by the looks of the original release it's gonna be stainless steel and black only but I'm it guessing is in the if, release, yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm guessing if the Kelpie takes off they might end up doing a gunmetal grey as well in the second batch or third batch maybe. Th further down the line I think they yeah. might and they'll they'll probably do their blue as well. They do like blue don't they? <laughs> yeah they do like blue and EH Pro. I've noticed that <laughs> Uh, Galaxies as a cut of missed the first. Oh, here we go. K Fun like the original or 2019. I didn't have the original. Um, the first one. Did you ever have that, Vic? The, the, origin, the original K Fun light. No. Yeah. No. Never had that one. No, that was some time ago now, wasn't it? It's was a lot it's bigger. A long while ago now. You're talking yeah. about twenty. End of 2015 for the original light. Yeah. And I know a lot of people had that and just will not let go of it. They still use it now, you know, so yeah. I know, you know, I know it's it's doing well still, but <laughs> Galaxies. I'm just, I'm just reading Gary Leishman, Vic, have EH Pro sent a large inflatable Kelpie over to attach <laughs> to your Trilby at Expo? <laughs> <laughs> a walking advert for the tank. <laughs> Galaxies, yeah, Galaxies. I I don't hear much from Fate Fly. Fate Fly anymore. They've done a bit of a Vandy vape on me. You know, <laughs> I haven't heard. But that's the reason you haven't heard much from them is because they're not releasing anything. That's why they've got. Well, they had that new German the Holly. Huh? Well, they they had the Holly card. I reviewed that, but that's basically been it from them. No, there was another one before that that mainly went. Because it was a big tank and it didn't really come to the UK. What was it called? The Brunhilde. That's it. That's it. I've got that in. It's it's fugly. I don't know. They must have been on drugs when they designed that thing. But apparently it was designed by the German 103 team. Yeah, that's it. That do a lot of designing for them. And it's like, it's, it's the wicking's done by, the wicking's done by stainless steel cable. Yeah, like the old, yeah. like the old Genesis style, and it's like the tank is huge. Yeah, it is big, that isn't is it? Massive. Yeah, I'll yeah. start to review that actually. Yeah, yeah, you need to catch up, Vic. I know. Tell me about <laughs> it. Tell me about it. You need to catch up. Yeah, but they, they've done a bit of a Vandy vape on me, and Vandy vape were in the early days. They were 
you know, they were talking to me, they were sending me samples and I was ordering. Then they got bigger and bigger and bigger and all of a sudden, bye, Nature Vape, go and deal with yeah. the wholesaler. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, thanks. <laughs> and that happens a lot, to be honest. So, And consequently, I don't stock their stuff anymore. You know, mm. cause I don't like to be treated like that. Iggy Mitchell, hi, Mark. What coils do you, can you recommend for the True Tank? Well, that depends on you more than me, really, uh, Iggy, to be honest with you. Um, I use in mine the new, uh, I do a Canthal one now, and I've, I've gone back over to Canthal a bit. But that's only because I I think I may have a slight nickel intolerance. I'm not sure. And that Ooh. can be with some people. So that's why I'm... I'm having more canthal just to test that theory out um but anyway and I, and I, I like you vic might disagree with this i like clapton coils in mouth to lungs uh, no i know see i see I, i'm a traditionalist yeah. round wire or nothing for me round wire <laughs> micro coil for vic oh they're yeah. actually spaced very often you do don't you or sometimes yeah. but well, i need to space it now because the decks are getting a lot bigger for these mouth to lung tanks yeah. these days yeah but i like a clapton coil a uh, because I, I think the for me the wire acts as, as a bit of a wick as well and you, yeah. you just you do get that extra burst of flavour and that's that's and I also like it when they you know what I mean by this Vic when they pop in your mouth when you think it's just knocked a bit of plaque off your tooth <laughs> <laughs> I've pop. had a few to, yeah that's happened a few times yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I actually quite like that Knows, you know you're alive <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, or stainless steel if you're into temp control, Iggy. But you know, I wouldn't. You know, that, that's I'm not in temp control. So some people no, you use can, you can you can vape stainless steel. Yeah, and you, just can, not you can wattage. use it in wattage mode as well. Um, that's what I was then going to say. But uh, the K Fun Light Two Thousand is smooth. Well, Rasper. The K-Fun Light 2019 is the smoothest and most flavourful vape I've ever had. That's great, Rasper. I don't, what are you comparing it to? But, you know, if you've had, which I think I've seen you comment before, I think you're quite a seasoned vapor. And if we all like the same thing, we'd all be buying the same thing. And I think that's yeah. the great part of vaping. You know, we everything is tuned to different individuals. I never liked top airflow until the Keys Solomon 3 and then later, even better still, probably the um, the Zeus X came along. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't think they had any flavour until those two tanks, really. Uh, Michael Marker, thank you for the answer on my questions. Uh, that's okay. And look forward to Kelpie. He ordered two on the Patron. Um, nice quite, one. Quite a few went. I'll have a chat with you afterwards about that. But quite a few actually have been sold to your patrons, so that's Ooh. nice. Very popular it's been. Um, Mike says that Artery are sending Artery are sending you one. Well, it's yeah, I guess so. It's Neh Pro. Well, it's the same but, company, yeah. to be honest. It is a bit like Volkswagen Audi, isn't it? One, yeah, they, they sort of share the production lines, I think, and and it's just a question of which which brand. Um. Robert Laws, this was the question from before, wasn't it? What I meant was, will you send a how to build it to reviewers? That's what the intro. That's what the intro video is going to be in Friday. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty much what we said. Uh, it, it comes. Uh, the other thing I like about each but it comes with instructions as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it Which does. So many tanks down, I and mean, the gate didn't. And mm. uh, I know that Salford hit. hit he got the airflow completely confused at one point. He knows now, but you know it wasn't obvious how that worked. He thought if you unscrewed it a bit, it opened it, and you screwed it in, and and it tightened it. It's not mm. not that way at all. But yeah, instructions are good, and well done, EH Pro for doing it. Um, Groom Green would be good if you got a review from Groom Green. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? I don't think he even reviews for EH Pro now. I don't know. Is he some, someone you know personally or, or not, Vic? Uh, I've said hello to him a couple of times, but don't know him personally, not. Nope. <laughs> what do you think of the last episode of Still Game, Vic? I haven't watched it. Not yet. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, and Grim Green again. <laughs> Mike, we're talking about black or stainless steel. Hooligans like black. <laughs> <laughs> Just remind me, Mike, what colour you asked me to send you the Solomon 3 in. <laughs> I believe it was black. <laughs> I think it was. Um, God, my, well, I must be miles off then. There's the inflatable question, Vic. I'll bet you're right down the bottom, aren't you? Wow, you're miles off. You're skimming, aren't you, through? Yeah, I'm skimming. Skimming, skimming. I'm going to skim a bit down a bit then. Michael Sherrington, if you want an e-pipe that takes a rebuildable tank, it'll need a 510, which means there's only really one choice. Smock Guardian 3. I'm glad you brought that up, Vic. I'm very glad you brought that up. Your pipe on your WhatsApp, uh, the... Oh, the, the V-pipe v pipe 3 Ebony by Vape Only. Yeah. Gorgeous-looking pipe. I thought that looked superb. Now, why I've, I've asked three manufacturers i deal with to make a pipe that looks like like that or even more of a uh a, like a more of a sherlock holmesy sort yeah. of pipe which i don't know what they're called i did know but i've forgotten um but with a, a 22 mil rta and they can even no. you do it with a mosfet and oh. do a, a big one with a 21700 battery even you know i mean that's not if you look at that, that's not that tall, is it? No, it's not. You know, if you that held isn't. that as your pipe and you had your your bits coming off, how hard would that be? But everyone seems reluctant to do it, and there's got to be a big market there for a pipe. There isn't. That's the thing, though, there isn't. The reason the Smart Guardian 3 is coming up in two years old now, and, yeah, well, one and a half years old, to be honest. It was released I a year and a half ago. Day. That one, yeah. yeah. I've got one sitting, sitting here somewhere, and... The Guardian range basically died with the Guardian 3. And the reason that you don't see a lot of companies making making variable voltage or variable wattage pipes with a 510 pin on it is because those pipe mods don't actually sell all that well. They don't. And the reason that vape only went down the road, along with other companies, went down the road of a pipe with a stock coil tank is they can keep charging people for the coils. That way they make up the cost of the loss they're making from the actual pipe. Yeah, I kind of get that. I yeah. kind of get that. Yeah, that makes sense, Vic. I, I just thought that they is, would that, be. I mean, that, that, that vape-only pipe's a gorgeous bit of cat, though. I, I there that. we go. Yep. Uh, well, no, that's not the, the, the part. But that is a 22 yeah. mil one. That's an... Oh, I've had this years. That's a Kerfanis, is it? Oh, I remember them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but again it was a bit of a pain in the neck you have to use your fingers to mm -hmm. and it takes an 18500 in there but that again that's not that's not perfect but no it's not no it would be i just think that there's a market there we've got everything else so there's so much being like copied and replicated that comes out doesn't do that well comes out doesn't do that well i mean look at pods i mean how many more pods have we got to have? god there's so many pods out there now <laughs> don't get me started on oh pods. my god how many <laughs> pods are they going to keep releasing this year <laughs> and cron the kelpie doesn't fully disassemble otherwise they, you know they can take the top off and take the take the, the like fully strap down that doesn't fully strap down Wow, there's a there's a big list here from Rasper. Uh, I'm probably miles behind. I buy most mouth to lung tanks that catch my interest. Love the True, the Berserker, the K Fun Prime, the Siren Two, has to many Galaxies RTA, all in my rotation along with a few others. Yeah, all subject. So I mean, the, look at that for a for an option full and uses them all in rotation. And, mm. You know they are. They've all got their their good parts. I would say. I'm looking at that list. That's quite a nice little list of. Mouth to lung tanks, really, isn't As. it? Yeah. And the K Fun Prime I thought was good as well, but the you know, the 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 latest one I think was a bit of a step back from that. Mm. I did send Mark one, I sell in I sent in the uh, <laughs> what I call the Ed Zachary one. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Zachary the same. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Which and he really likes it, doesn't he? I've got to the bottom. 
I got to the oh, bottom. You've caught up. Yeah, because I've just seen the question that you run ran out. Um, George, uh, it's George uh, putting the kelpie on the note on the Nova box. What's the Nova box, Vic? It's the Nova box from Geek Vape. In fact, I've still got George's mod. I've still got George's winning here. This will be shipped out to you probably end of this week, George. It's this thing from Geek Vape. Oh, I know the one. Yeah. 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 I saw a nice little kit that Geek Vape do, a little um, builder's kit, tweezers, screwdriver, and they do a new mini kit. That looks quite nice. I might even enter one of your competitions if you give them away, Vic. <laughs> oh, they haven't sent any in. It's such a start of and have they? sent <laughs> Um, Gary, many would buy for novelty value, but as long as it performs well, can it say so? Oh, I so see. Talking about the pipe, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's put that up. Oh, he's moved. Chat went too quick again. Initially, yeah, I guess many people would. Although there's the new Diecodes one, isn't there? That oh, and that's a fortune. That's like four hundred. Yeah, diecodes are always expensive. Yeah, and you, you can't buy it anyway. It's out of stock. Mm. You know, which is bit, bit frustrating and annoying, but looks a, a very nice pipe indeed, that one. Uh, new Aspire pod out today. <laughs> yeah, I just I got that new Aspire pod in uh, yesterday. It's uh, it's another pod system again. Another pod. So, Smock send you things. Have, they, have you tried the Nord? Is it the Nord? The Nord, I've tried the Nord and I've tried the Novo. Right. The Nord and the Novo. To be honest, I mean, the the one thing Smock gets right is the podcasts. I've got to admit that. Yeah. The podcasts are really pretty damn good. The reason I ask, there is a an attachment for the billet box that takes the Nord coil. So I wondered what the Nord coil was like. Ooh. Actually, the, the flavour from the Nord's good. I've got zero complaints with it. It's good, right. good flavour of hard yeah. coils. So, and that's something we'll be having with a bit of luck quite soon mm. as well. So, I think we're, I think we're there in in chat, Vic. What is the time? We're now ten o'clock, so that's about right. Oh, wow, well, so we are ten o'clock. Where's that Evening, hour and a... Dino, Mister Devil Vapor. Hi, Dean. Where's that hour and a half gone? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I do the same when I'm watching uh, your show on a Thursday night and. I'll sort of say to Tina, I won't, won't be long. I said, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hour and a half later. <laughs> yeah, st yeah. Still watching it. Yeah. Oh, we are the same and we're hosting the show. It's like, it's, it's, to me, it's like I've just hit broadcast and then like five minutes later, I'm ending it. It's just, it just seems to fly past. It does. Past. It does go quickly. It does go very quickly indeed. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think we're, we're come to a, all right, I don't think there's any more questions. I think Dean's only just got his, his yeah, in, you, internet. You're about late, Dean. My fan Sorry, is Dean. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be streamed. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, if you'd if you'd like to say your your goodbyes, bit is nothing. Is there anything else you want to say before we go? Not really. Oh, are you going to expo in me? Yes, I'm hoping to. Whether I, I don't think I'll stay. Perhaps in a hotel. It's the dogs that are the problem. Right. But even right. if I have to just zip down in a car, um, then I'll, I, I, I do want to come. I, you know, I want to pop. I think, as you say, EH Pro are there, going to be there. Um, there's one or two other companies that I want to see that are going to be there. And I don't know if I'll be going with Tina, or if not, if anyone from good old Norfolk's going, well, maybe there's a car share in the midst. There so you go. That, that could work as well. So, yeah, but I hope to. And, uh, I'd like to get someone else to drive so I can have a beer with <laughs> <laughs> So car share, as long as it's your car and you're as driving. Long as <laughs> <laughs> the last one I went to, I, I got a speeding ticket. Um, Ooh. The, the guy I went with, he worked for me, lovely fella, Andy, and he spent the whole journey on, on his phone like this. And <laughs> and I went, straight, <laughs> straight yeah. past a bloody van with a, with a camera. And, and I said to him, I said, you are the worst wingman in the world. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said you know, where were you? But, yeah, never mind. So that was a speeding fine. 
But I don't get many because we don't go quick in Norfolk, Vic. <laughs> Everything's slow. <laughs> slow pace of life in Norfolk. Yeah. Yes, even I know that. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to see that people have stopped calling you Viv now, so that's nice. <laughs> don't remind them. They're going to start doing it again. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be, you'll be there. Um, I think uh, all your team are going to be there, aren't they? Well, the, yeah, the entire UK Vapes is going to be there. And we're, we're launching... Probably on Thursday, where I'm, I've got the images here. They're not finished yet, so I'm not going to show them. But we're launching a new hashtag UKVS May 2019 shirt. So the idea is anyone who buys the specific hashtag UKVS May 2019 shirt, uh, Mark will buy them a drink. Apparently, it's supposed to be me buying them a drink, but I'm delegating it to Mark. Right. TVP, because he's okay. rich, because he's a postman. We all know postmen are rich. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when he's not on the show. You can talk about him, and he can't answer back, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> yeah. So, Victor, if you'd like to to say your your goodbyes, that'd be nice. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. That's been an absolutely fantastic show, Mark. Um, everyone who's watched us, and if people are going to be watching the replay of this before Friday, you'd Get, you're basically getting the lowdown of the tank before the intro video goes up on Friday morning. But yeah, this has been fun, and I'll see you all in the UK Vape Show this Thursday. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, thank you, Vic, for coming on because it's you know it's it's been brilliant having you as a guest, and you know I, I do apologise for getting your name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> at the top, which is why Vic hasn't if anyone tuned in late why well, he hasn't got anything written at the top but everyone knows who you are um, yeah. I normally say to people in chat go and watch his channel go and subscribe but I'll be amazed if if everyone hasn't already so that that would be pointless <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks for everyone in chat um, you make the show as always I'm not used to having as many people on the show as this and really sorry if I missed any relevant comments, please don't take it personally. I can't keep up when it's slow, so to have it busy, I'm, I'm really struggling. We've got a lot of thumbs up. Thanks for that. 79 of those as we sit, which is lovely. Thanks very much indeed. So, yeah, it's been a great show. We've learned a lot about the Kelpie. Um, I hope you all found it interesting. And until next time, I'll be watching Vic on Thursday, but I'll be back here next Tuesday, hopefully with a guest. Yep. So, from from me and from Vic, I'm sure. Goodbye and take Bye. care. Bye. Bye.